Hello and welcome to Reptiles and Research. So UVB is essential to keeping our bearded dragons alive. But this video is about how to pick the right bulb and how to use that for our bearded dragons. So one of the things you might hear is that a 12% UVB bulb is for bearded dragons. But what does that actually mean? What it means is the percentage listed on the bulb is the percentage of the bulb's output that is actually UVB. So a 12% UVB might be 30% UVA and 58% visible light. So the higher the percentage of UVB listed on the bulb, the higher the output of UVB there actually is. The strength of the sun's ultraviolet radiation is expressed as the ultraviolet index or UVI for short. The stronger the radiance, the higher up the indices we get. For example, on a sunny day, it might be a UVI of four, but on a really cloudy day outside, it might be a UVI of like one. The UVI can be measured using a solar meter 6.5. Okay, so we're at the point where we understand that we're talking about UVI rather than percentage. So what UVI do our bearded dragons actually need? Well, luckily for us, Beardy Vet studied bearded dragons in the wild. And out of 112 bearded dragons found, the average UVI that these bearded dragons were basking at was 4. Okay, so we need a UVI of 4 for our bearded dragons. But how does percentage link to UVI? Well, the higher the percentage, the higher the UVI is at an equal distance to the basking spot than a lower percentage bulb. So again, we want a UVI of 4. A lower percentage bulb will need to be at a much shorter distance from the basking spot to achieve a UVI of 4. But a higher percentage UVB bulb would need to be at a greater distance away to achieve a UVI of 4 at that same basking spot. So choosing a bulb is to do with, okay, what distance from the basking spot to the bulb are we dealing with here? And what percentage do I need to get the UVI of 4 that I want at that distance? So for Arcadia, you would need a 12% bulb at a around 30 centimeters away or a 14% at around 45 centimeters away. For Zoomid, a Reptisun 10.0 would get you the UVI of 4 at 30 centimeters again or a Reptile Systems Zone 3 bulb with a reflector at 30 centimeters away would get you a UVI of 4. You need to use each brand's guidance as per their bulbs to see how their bulbs perform at different distances. If you're going to be placing your UVB bulb over mesh then you need to know that mesh reduces transmission at different percentages depending upon like the mesh hole size of different brands mesh. For example a very wide mesh from custom reptile habitats would only reduce by 25%. But a more fine mesh size, like from Exoterra, would reduce it by 35% or even 45% from Zen Habitats. So the UVI output through a 35% mesh at 30 centimeters away would reduce a UVI of 4 to a UVI of 2.6. So what you can do is you can choose a higher output lamp to make up for what you've lost through the mesh, or you can try and increase the height of your basking spot to reduce the distance between the basking spot and the bulb. I should also mention that glass blocks UV. So if you're using like a glass topped tank, obviously no UV is going to get through that. And for those people that say that, oh yeah, beard of the dragon basks in the windowsill through glass, it doesn't need a basking light because it's basking in the window. Yeah, no UVB is getting through that. It's purely just infrared and visible light coming through there. So you need to replace your UVB bulb routinely as per your brand's guidance. So for most brands, it's around one year for a linear T5 bulb because at a certain amount of time, the UVB output diminishes to the point where no UVB is being produced, even though the light is still on, because that's just visible light. So what you should do is double check how often you should replace your bulb as per the guidance of the brand you choose. Now, I would really highly recommend buying a solar meter 6.5. I can tell you now, this baby is an absolute lifesaver. It is a tad expensive, but it saves you so much more money than it costs to buy. It's got no maintenance costs, no recalibration, no nothing. That's it. You just change the battery, the initial outlay of buying it, and that's it. For example, I'm supposed to change most of these bulbs once a year, but when I actually measure with my solar meter, the output has stayed the same at the UVI that I want for far longer than once a year. In the most extreme example, I've had one last for four years at what I want. But to keep your lamp in safely and responsibly longer than the guidance of the brand, you need to have the Solometer 6.5 because you need to be able to measure the 
actual output of your individual lamp at any given point in time for you to actually make a responsible decision. And this is why the Solometer 6.5 has saved me so much money. For example, you might have replaced a bulb three times over more than you needed to if you had a solar meter. When you think about the fact that a bearded dragon can live up to 18 years, you soon realize how much this can save you money. That's not even talking about if you have multiple animals. You can find an Amazon link to the solar meter down below. If you find this kind of guide really helpful, we have a ton of bearded dragon guides on the channel and I can tell you a lot more are coming. So if this is for you, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.